time is around the corner and that means you'll start seeing spring trends popping up. The trend that I'm most excited for is wearing pastels head to toe. Think those sweet candy shades of baby blue, butter yellow, lilac, pistachio and blush pink. And the best part is that these make for the most perfect transitional outfit so you can start wearing them now. If you're tired of dark winter hues and moody prints, it's time to incorporate pastels into your wardrobe. Keep watching on to get some inspiration so that you can try this trend out for yourself. I've included a mix of casual and more formal outfit ideas today. I hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks I'm sharing so that you can wear these whimsical colors with ease. Let's begin. Pale icy blues are a gorgeous alternative to all white everything and are much less likely to wash off your complexion. They get even more flattering as you move along the spectrum towards the omnipresent millennial blue. Mix and match pieces in a variety of shades to create more depth than your average monochrome statement. Then add a pop of seafoam green with your purse or white accent heels if you really want to commit to the color moment. Why be subtle when you can be statement making? Team two pastel pieces together for a top notch monochrome look. Now the impact of pastels isn't just about color, fabric and cut are equally crucial. Avoiding overly adorned items like lace, florals or frills can prevent an outfit from looking too demure. Embrace pastels in modern ways such as monochromatic suit or pastel corset paired with denim to rejuvenate these classic spring hues. Here I'm rocking a light blue suit. The color is soothing while the cut and shape of these pieces is of top notch designer but on a budget. This oversized blazer and crop trouser pair emit a very sophisticated vibe because of the smart contour. Since the outfit is the main focal point, adding transparent heels that will not only give me extra inches but complete this look seamlessly. Another great way to style pastels is by color blocking. What that simply means is pairing opposite colors on the color wheel as one. This method of styling always, always generates the most eye-catching spectacular ensembles. When you don't know what pastel color to wear, I say wear them all. Pastel colors pair so well with each other. Every color complements another, mint with pink, lavender and mint, lavender with light blue and the list goes on and on. I also think mixing different colors makes the outfit look so much more interesting. When mixing several colors, I recommend wearing accessories like jewelry and bag that is either white or pulled from one of the colors that you're already wearing just to have a certain amount of cohesiveness. Because pastel colors are discreet by nature, there's so many nice outfit combinations you can make out of them. Also, you can pair different pastels together without them clashing or looking crazy. Here are two examples. The apple green cardigan partnered with lavender mini. How cute is this skirt with the bow? Here I'm adding muted blue pointed toe palms that help elongate my frame. For the second look, we are playing with apricot, baby blue and lilac. The trouser and shirt are super summery, not only by color but also the fabric. So extremely airy and comfortable. Just look at these fades, definitely head turners. The next category I recommend is mixing and matching. It basically is blending various textures, prints, colors and metallic elements as one. Now this may be the trickiest style to pull off but when done right will fetch you the most amount of compliments because of how creative and unique your ensemble will turn out. Something to remember when pairing prints, stick with the classic ones like stripes, checks or polka dots. These timeless prints will not make your outfit look busy or gaudy and will add a fun contrast. These outfits always look super chic and extra fashionable. You can also pull accessories like bags and shoes that are neutral in color. I also encourage you to play with different fabrics and textures when wearing any pastel outfit. Think a knit against crepe, against wool or satin, cotton poplin even. Now that you've got the basics under your belt, you can start to pile on the pastels like a pro. Lilac with pistachio, ice blue with soft pink, no problem. If you're still not quite sure how to pull off the subtle color trend without looking like a dyed egg, stick to contrary combos like pink with blue, yellow with purple. 
Also choose pieces that have a sharp or masculine edge like a tailored trench, straight leg trouser or a square neck top rather than frilly dresses or ballet flats. The effect of the harsher silhouette and sharper lines will be more sophisticated and less Easter Bunny inspired. Next way of wearing pastels is with deep tones or even vivid colors. Who says that the only way to create contrast is by pairing it with different hues of pastels or neutrals only? Try a deeper green, blue, burgundy with a muted shade. It will make it pop even more. Also, this is a more elegant combo. To navigate the youth associated stigma of pastels, opt for the softer versions of classic hues like baby pink, mint green and powder blue. These can convey a sophisticated and feminine style. For instance, combine a powder blue silk blouse with high waisted brown trousers, dark ankle boots and a mini satchel for a polished transitional look. Or for a casual chic vibe, layer a sage green silky slip dress with light yellow linen blazer like I have. The slinky satin fabric paired with rustic linen creates a unique juxtaposition making the outfit stand out even more. Not only are we playing with gorgeous colors but also textures and silhouettes. This kind of outfit is easy to put together and will make you look polished instantly. Also they make for great outfits to wear around autumn time. When it comes to complementary and clashing colors, it can be hard to know which hues work together and which hues just don't. Really, it is down to trial and error. And right now, there's a particular pairing doing the runway rounds, which on paper really shouldn't work but somehow does. Countless influencers are putting two of the season's top colors, green and lilac together to unexpected chic avail. It appears that one of the easiest and less daunting ways to wear it is by opting for pastel iterations of green and purple, which blend beautifully together. That said, if you're looking to make a true statement, perhaps you'll be keen to try ultraviolet and moss duo. Either way, rest assured you look very much on trend. To balance out the green top and purple skirt combination, I'm opting for simple tonal accessories. These let the outfit shine yet add a subtle detail. One of the biggest tips I have for when wearing pastel colors is to wear one piece that is pastel in color to lift the whole look up. The lightness of the muted color will help brighten up your whole appearance. In this case, I'm bringing pastel pink to the mix with the basic color of mal gray. As I mentioned above, I also think it is interesting when you mix prints with pastels. Pull the focus pastel color and the print together for a cohesive look. Pastel colors are light and soft. Talking about the psychology of colors, they send a message of peacefulness, neutrality, innocence and purity. But you don't need to wear them from head to toe. You can mix them with other colors and send a different message such as creativity. They look especially great with some neutrals creating a sense of sophistication to the outfit. Choose to wear pants or skirt in neutral colors like grey, white, beige and when you do that, pick a pastel color for the top or vice versa. This creates balance as with any neutral and will make you look graceful and dignified. I'm finishing off this look with white palms that add finesse and the finishing touch. Even though pastels add a touch of color and wins to any outfit, they are soft enough shades that you can pair them with so many unexpected colors. My go-to tips when I'm unsure how to style a trend or a particular color is to stick with a simple outfit that I'd wear often and build from there. Nothing looks bad with a pair of jeans, right? Now if you're someone who doesn't like colors and prefers neutral color palette but still wants to try this trend, I recommend going for small touches of muted colors instead of a whole outfit. This is less intimidating and still extremely pretty. White being the most worn color in summers, a nice flowy peasant dress or something like I have worn here, a smart pair of wide leg trousers and a basic ripped tee are a great start. This outfit is minimal so far, but when you throw on a colorful crossbody bag, it not only adds a pop of vibrancy, but also instantly elevates this simple attire. Not to mention, is extremely useful as it carries all my necessities. Another option is wearing your light wash jeans with a lightweight white shirt. I mean, this pair is foolproof. 
To add a splash of color, I've chosen to wear this baby pink flower necktie. It screams spring. This helps you dabble in this trend without being overwhelmingly in your face. Since we want to highlight the necklace, keeping the rest very simple is crucial. So wearing dainty earrings and nude heels. These are easy to recreate and a fabulous start-off point. 